This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Today I talk to Dan the Man again and we talk about why highly intelligent people are single. Um, the show begins with us talking about Singles Awareness Day, which if you don't know what that is, I recommend you listen to the previous podcast um, where we spoke about that. Okay, so have fun listening to us talking about stupid things and stupid stories as always. Dan the Man, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine. It was fantastic seeing you at Singles Awareness Day party the other it day. It really was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but um, I've got some good news for us, Dan. To keep Go your on. keep your chin up. What does it mean to keep your chin up? Your spirits high. Yes, because the chin is, let's say, the part of your body directly under your mouth. So keep your chin up, um, because there is another study which says that intelligent people are much more often single and not just intelligent people dan highly intelligent people why do you think is what was their reasons well that is what we're going to talk about dan great question okay, okay. i must say at this point i'm not 100 sure how credible this study is because i think they're trying to make something bad sound good in some of the points One of the points is, it says you are really good at making a mess of things. <laughs> What? So it's it's giving you praise to say you're really good at basically making things go wrong. Where is this study from? Um, I cannot remember, but I will include it in the show notes. Um, it's one of okay. my fantastic studies I find on the internet. Well, to be fair, if you're going to be good at something, it may as well be making a mess of things. <laughs> yeah, and I am a master at making a mm -hmm. mess of things. You really are. Especially yeah. these podcasts, because for some reason it takes me about five hours to actually edit and modify it because I make a mess of them, much like I do with relationships. But there are also some other um, points, Dan, mm -hmm. which uh, one of them is it says that people stay together because they have the same level of intelligence. Okay, that is when a marriage will last long. And obviously, highly intelligent people have more difficulty finding someone of their intelligence. What do you think about that? Well... I'm slightly worried that you're putting us in that bracket of highly intelligent people as well, an excuse. I wouldn't want to put myself in the same bracket. And when I say the same bracket, I mean the same category as you, Dan, because I consider myself far more intelligent than you. Oh, really? <laughs> um, yes, I do. Um, and it also says that intelligent people are more aware. And remember, we spoke about the word aware in the last episode, um, are more aware about if the person they are with is the wrong person. What hmm, do you think really? about that? Is there any truth in that? What, if you're more intelligent, you're more aware? Yeah, you, you understand. Often people don't understand that the person they are with is not right for them. I'll, yeah. I will give you an example of this, Dan. To be, on, to be honest, I am the last person you should be asking about <laughs> relationships. Yeah, stuff. I don't think either of us are experts, actually. Mm. So basically, if anyone's listening, don't listen to any of the advice we yeah. give because... <laughs> don't we... break up from your husband <laughs> or wives. Yeah, because <laughs> Dan and I are both 32 and both single. So that means we obviously know absolutely nothing about <laughs> relationships. But I'm going to give you an example of knowing you're with the wrong person, okay? So a girl I was going out with at university, I went to see her and we were sitting there, all, there were all of her friends there, well, about five or six, they were all females and I was thinking, God, this is a bit, a bit boring, I would like some male company. And then after about an hour, one of their boyfriends turned up and when I say he turned up, I mean he arrived. So he turned up and I thought, oh, great, it's a male company. And immediately he started climbing a tree and 
the girls Ooh. thought it was hilarious and couldn't stop laughing. And I will never forget what my <laughs> ex-girlfriend looked at me and said, why don't you climb the tree? <laughs> <laughs> and it was at that point I realised this girl is not the one for me. Said, this is, I am not a man that likes to climb trees. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather read a book. I was sitting there in the sunshine. It was a nice day, drinking a beer. I said, why would I want to climb a tree? <laughs> How long did the relationship last? Uh, re after really, that? not long, because that really was a like. How, very how long had moment? How long had you been going out with her? Well, great grammar there, Dan. How long had you been going out with her until that point? Bit of past perfect there. Um, oh, not very long, a couple of months. But then, as I said, after that, I realised I couldn't. I couldn't do it anymore. Another example I've got of, well, people staying with the wrong person. Um, I once asked a friend, this was in Italy, he was living with his girlfriend. They, they had been going out about a year. And I said, um, oh, how, how's it going with your girlfriend? And he, his immediate response was, yeah, it's okay because, you know, we live together and I live in her house, so I don't pay any rent. <laughs> We're very romantic, you're not, <laughs> you're, you're saving on rent, okay? So that is very romantic. Well, what if he had turned around and said, we climb a lot of trees together, <laughs> you would have immediately known what sort of man he was. Yeah, exactly. I maybe put him in touch with my ex-girlfriend mm. about climbing trees. Um, it also says that smart people generally just like to be alone. What, what do you think about, not just in relationships, just in general? What do you think about that? I don't know if I like, I mean, I'm not calling myself smart, but it's not that I like to be alone, but I don't like to always be with people. People. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's why I'm now doing these podcasts and doing things like a website, because that gives me an excuse not to be with people, because yeah. uh, otherwise, you know being with people isn't actually um that great good for your health yeah. yeah but i the thing with people is i have difficulty putting up with things and do you know what putting up with things means dan of course i do what does it mean you know dealing with things um, tolerating things tolerating. is what we're looking for dan yes yeah. yeah, so i have difficulty tolerating things if i'm with a group of people and i see someone for example, climbing a tree, I think. Oh, no. But I think that's because you're getting older. I think if you were 17, you would have been straight up that tree. Well, when the tree incident happened, I was, I think, 20. So I've always been a miserable old man deep inside me. OK, and that mm. I hope will stay with me forever. <laughs> um, it's also it had some art, um, questions in the article um, about sort of relationships um, it didn't have any answers to them, but I thought I would ask you some of them, okay? Because maybe this is the reason we are single. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of them was, um, do you think the man should pay for everything on the first date? You see, I I don't mind paying for everything on the first date. In fact, I would normally pay for something on the first I would normally would. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, at some point, that's got to stop. <laughs> It cannot continue forever. It cannot. It cannot continue. I, I um, actually, I mean, for the, like the first date, I always offer to pay, but mm. I really think if she if she just doesn't even make an attempt to pay, that that is negative points in my in my yeah, book. Yeah, I suppose, but it's not. Hey, we are we even are if, equal even now, Dan. Half, Men even and if it's women. a half-assed attempt. Even if it was like half-hearted attempt, that's half that's good. I said half-assed, but yeah, whole half, same thing. <laughs> we'll we'll stay with half-hearted, which means when you do something not to the maximum, let's say with fifty percent of effort, fifty percent of your heart. Um, yeah, if she but makes, as you said, if she makes a half-hearted attempt to pay, that's that's okay. But if she doesn't even, I said make an attempt, I just sort of think that that's not a good sign. Men and See, women I, are I equal nowadays. I yeah, no, no, I agree, but I, I just normally insist. But then again, it's always been the same. Even with, like when I go out with friends, 
I'm always the first person to the bar buying around. You're always the last. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the difference. That That is definitely not true. Um, I don't go to bars anymore because I don't like to be around people. Yeah, and people are sick of paying for your drinks. <laughs> Um, one other question, which was extremely strange to have on this article, <laughs> was, do you think it is okay for a man to hit a woman? <laughs> I'm not Where sure, did I'm you not, find this? I'm not sure when this article was written. It seems like something from like 19... 1972. Well, even before. Um, I'm not sure who would say yes to that. Um, yeah, of course it's okay to hit a woman. What's the problem? Relax. How man. hard? <laughs> yeah. We could you could spank a woman though, which we actually used yeah. in the last podcast. But remember that that's in a sexual way and normally mm. quite a nice way. Um, but yeah, I think we can agree it's not okay for a man to hit a woman. Do do you agree with me, Dan? I do agree with you. I've, I've always said that. <laughs> always said that. Uh, this a uh, uh, funny story actually, which I just thought about. One of uh, a, a sh I had a student once when I, uh, the first lesson I asked them to write a profile about themselves, and um, this guy wrote like, oh, "My name's blah blah blah." He said, "I like uh, football, tennis, and I don't like violence against women." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the information, <laughs> because I think everyone else in the class loves violence against women but you you really don't like it yeah. and i noticed how he only said violence against women not violence in general if you want to yeah, like you know scrap yeah. punch an old person like a man a 95 year old man that's fine that's fine i i once uh saw someone put on facebook their things they like and don't like and they liked like lovely weather they liked traveling and right at the bottom they said i hate injustice <laughs> Yeah, because most people love injustice. Yeah. Most people love injustice. Um, and the last one was, do you believe in love at first sight? I don't know, really. Did you fall in love with me the first time you saw me, Dan? I did, Martin. Yeah, is this, <laughs> this is what these podcasts are building up to, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, by the end of the podcast, I think it will be a married couple. <laughs> yeah. Gay marriage is legal now, Dan. Yeah, something, finally. Something to think about in the future. Uh, I don't know. Do you? Uh, it depends how good looking the girl is, I suppose. Correct. I don't think anyone's fallen in love with me at <laughs> first sight. I think I normally, I'm a two to three month kind of guy. Yeah, I would say I'm more six to eight month than someone yeah. might possibly fall in love with me. Once you've worn them down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, well... Thanks very much for your time, Dan. Hopefully one day someone will fall in love with us. Otherwise, mm. we will have to fall in love with mm. each other. Which is an alarming way to end the show. <laughs> very alarming. Alarm bells are ringing. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much, right. Dan. We'll see you soon. See you later. So that was Dan and I talking about why highly intelligent people like Dan and I are single so before i go let's have a look at some of that rock and roll vocabulary early on in the podcast and um, we said keep your chin up which is a very nice phrase to memorize which means just to stay in high spirits to not be discouraged because as i mentioned the chin is the part of your body directly under your mouth so keep that up and stay in high spirits to make a mess of things which is obviously when things go badly Another one was when I said, I wouldn't want to put myself in the same bracket as you. And in this sentence, the word bracket just means a like, category of people. Uh, a phrasal verb that was used was turn up when I was talking about the boy that climbed the tree. And I said he turned up, which means he arrived. It normally means you arrive without an appointment. A typical example would be um, this man turned up at my door. So I was not expecting him and he just turned up. Another phrasal verb was to put up with when I said I have difficulty putting up with things, which means just to tolerate things. Another really good piece of vocabulary was half-hearted, which is obviously when you do something only to like 50% of your ability and let's say 50% of your heart. 
Dan also used some rock and roll grammar there when he used the past perfect continuous when he said, how long had you been going out with her Like when this happened? In the show, I said it was the past perfect, but I actually made a mistake. I'm actually not as intelligent as I think because it's the past perfect continuous because we are interested in the period. He was interested in the time. So that is why he said, how long had you been going out with her? So I hope you enjoyed that little piece of rock and roll grammar. Grammar is always fun. Um, Before I go, let me just tell you one more time not to listen to anything Dan and I say or said in this episode because we know absolutely nothing about relationships or more or less anything. So thanks for listening. As always, remember to go to the website where you can do the quiz on all of these words and the grammar. And remember to tell your friends and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks very much and we will see you soon. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.